You see, people, this guy knows exactly what it's like. He knows exactly what these videos are. Nonsense. But we're back on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. And, uh, apparently after removing the, uh, slime snakes from the engine, uh, Figaro Castle now emerges from the desert. There is absolutely no point to it emerging from the desert except to let you walk around it like you basically could have before. Uh, the one thing I do want to do is I would like to... <laughs> yeah, shut up and take my money. Uh, I would like to buy a debilitator because this is the one tool I do not possess. I don't think it does yet. I think it adds a random uh, elemental weakness to an enemy if it hits, which it rarely does. But there's no treasure, there's no real reason to be around here at all. Um... Actually, I do want to check something here. I think if you... No, that's not here. That's somewhere else. Uh, never mind. Moving on. We just need to go back and talk to this guy and be all like, Let's go to Kolingen. Because as you'll see from the map here, we're in the desert here. South Figaro is more like uh, East Figaro now. But we'll go you know, under the desert and across the water here. There's a channel that prevents you from getting to the Northwest Continent. Which contains three places. One of which we'd actually like to go to. Now we're in, near Kolingen, which I think is the same place that uh, the castle moved to. Or no, it, did the castle move in the last world? No, I, I think it just unsurfaced. Alright, there's an enemy, uh, Moose, and Deep Eye. I think Deep Eye showed off before. Moose are. they have 900 HP and no weakness, so we'll just kill them. Dreamland? Oh, yeah, I, guess, I assume that puts somebody to sleep. Didn't do that before. Oh yeah, those are moves. You can run into the same, uh, the same enemies in uh, near Nakia. All right. Uh, if you talk to this woman, you get yet another flashback of how the world was before. Uh, now there's some some stuff we'd like to buy. There's a Narsh guard. Pretty much anybody who talks about Narsh will ignore the cafe for right now. Oh, so apparently Ryan is alive. Oh, now there's the Colosseum, and someone's looking for a weapon called the Striker. I... I, I assume that's that's not a bit of a spoiler, obviously, because it's in the game itself. Um, no, I don't want to unequip anybody. Unequip who? There's nobody here. Oh, it's you already. Like, okay, so they they talk about the Coliseum. The Coliseum is up north, and we aren't really prepared to go there. Like, we don't have the levels, the stats, or the ability to really do anything except go there and look around. Um, I'm depending on. Yeah, they're trying to grow plants and they can't. You step on here, she goes, Oh, give up the seeds! But, uh... Depending on how much time I have, uh, before... Or once I'm done here... I may end up stopping up there, or not. Uh, I will show it off, you know, eventually. But even if I go there now, I'm not gonna do any fighting. Eh, talk about... This is a hint to where you'll find, uh, me. Uh, those... That all the treasures here would be exactly the same as they were the first time you came here. Very few times when the world changes, the uh, treasures change. There's nobody in Rachel's house. Uh, we need to buy a trump. And another enhancer. I think that's it. Yep. Uh, this armor has the same as before, but diamond, arm diamond armors, which I, I don't want to buy. Mainly because I won't need them until I actually have money to purchase them. Uh, nothing new there. 
Actually, how many revival finds do I have? Eleven. Let's get a couple more, just in case. All right. Yeah. Well, we got one scene to witness here before we can run off anywhere. <gasps> Simon. Or Setzer. Obviously, the the Blackjack, which is his airship, uh, broke in half. So, well, he's not our pilot. He's just a gambler. If he was a gambler, wouldn't, like, chaos be his nom de plume or something? I don't know why. He's like, oh, this world's too chaotic. I wouldn't say he was fearless, but... Well, you know, it's one of the things where, like, she says it right there. It, it, the world changed. You can't really do nothing about it. You'll never get it back. But the least you can attempt to do is make things, you know, livable again. And if you just basically give up, that's never going to happen, and you're just going to wallow in misery until you die. Pretty much, the that's the purpose of every, like, zombie-themed, you know, or post-apocalyptic game ever, is that... Oh, so there's another airship. I believe this takes us out of the thing. Or, no, it shows us where, uh, where we need to go, which is this one little thing... That doesn't exist in, like, despite the fact that we'll see an indication as to why that place should exist in the other world, and it doesn't. Need to rest up there. Oh man, seven minutes. All right. Um. Okay. So let's uh, do some equipping on Simon here. We're gonna give him. The actually let's give his relic first. I want to give him the Atlas Armor to raise his fight damage, because it's pretty much all he's gonna do, and the Genji Glove just to give him I don't have enough to do two trumps or I probably would there. Wait, is he Oh that's right, I gave him the Regal Crown. So yeah. Um Actually, I'm gonna go see. I have almost enough money for a second Trump. I should attempt to buy one because uh, Trump is like the uh, assassin knife or whatever knife that I had or that uh, that I had that had uh, the ability to instant. Or, yeah, the assassin knife. Uh, Trump also does instant death there. Um, do I need two? He That's only one gold. Or GP or whatever. Um, I do need those technically. Uh, I don't need missile lists. Or the silk robe. I don't know why I'm still holding that. Or this cotton robe. Cotton robes will be important in another game we'll eventually get to. Um, True Knight. Uh, I'll. Hold on to that for completion's sake. I particularly don't need it. I don't know how I got two of these. Uh, I, I, as well as uh, good as a cure ring is. I mean, regen is a pretty decent status ailment or status buff in most Final Fantasy games. I don't actually ever use it, so. Beater is using Seraphim, so we need to put him on something until. Let's put him on a little carbuncle for another buffer, I guess. I, I don't. I'm not even gonna bother trying to remember who needs to learn what anymore. I'll work on it later when I actually use some magic grinding, but at this point, pretty much anybody that. Uh... Yeah, we'll go visit North. Pretty much anybody that has, you know, that learns spells is going to learn nearly everything they want anyway. Uh, we have bogeys here. Bogeys have 1,318 HP. They have no weakness. They're just dogs. They do stuff. Like die. But now with four party members, the uh, experience is going to be pretty uh, minimal at best. If I can get there without getting into a dozen fights. 
Alright, Johnny learned Float. That means he's done with Stray. Um, I guess give him Siren for some more nonsense. But here we have the Coliseum. Oh, look, it's uh, Ultros. Yeah. Dragon's Neck. I, I forget this place has an actual name. But basically what you do is, you can talk to the people and they're all like, uh, oh, Battles and Coliseum are one-on-one. -on -one. There's a way to cheat this. It's a valuable information. Talk to the Emperor twice. I don't know where that is. Um, this is an inn. I don't really need that. I completely forgot that's there, because basically you can... Once you get another... Yeah, again, there's like a reason, like... <laughs> Pretty much every story involving him has been removed from the game, so I don't know. Alright, so basically what happens is, is you pick an item. Uh, let's pick something I, I can afford here, a flame saber, and it will pit you in a battle. I can pick one character for uh, versus a certain monster. Let's pick B-Dude there. So I will, if I lose this battle, I lose my flame saber. If I, really? Well, fuck you. Did I lose my sword? No, I did not. Okay, so... Well, that's basically what it is. The problem with the Colosseum is that you can't control that party member. They fight automatically. So, like, it almost seems like the more spells and equipment and things you give them, the more options they have, the more nonsensical things they can do. Like... Like, you'll get people fighting a giant which only does physical attacks and they'll start casting shell on themselves and they'll do it a few times she learned doom so she's done with that um actually let's let's do some fenrir because someone needs to start using that there she's actually getting pretty close to a level i may uh in between episodes i may in between episodes finish that off uh there's cooling again we're just gonna go down for now, what you want to do is you want to avoid forests on this continent. Reason being is that they have a very powerful enemy in there. It's like level 70-something. It's called Brachiosaur. It's very rare, but if you run into one, you're pretty much dead. Unless you can run away from it. Now, who is this person? Oh, well, she's fearless just like Simon, apparently. And he opens the door. I don't know how the door was closed, but sure. But we'll find out what's down there next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Till then, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, and have a good night.